secure and privatize your connection with NordVPN with its extensive server list and simple application which is compatible with all of your devices. Check the link in the description below. Hi guys, what's going on? Aaron here. And today we're going to be looking at Burp. So we're going to be using Burp and DVWA. We're going to be looking at Burp's feature of being able to brute force web forms. So if we go straight in and go to DVWA, and we're going to go to the brute force option. What we can see here is a username and password. We don't know what they are yet because we there is literally no other information here. So down here we can look at the view source and have a look what's going on. So we can see a few different parameters here. We can see the username, the password parameters, that there's a database, a successful login and a failed login. So Depending on what you know about PHP or anything like that, you might not know what's going on. So we can use Burp to get an understanding of what's actually going on in on the website. So if we open up Burp, and there's going to tell us an update, so we just ignore it for now. And if we just start Burp, we can go over to the proxy tab here, and as you can see, it's already on. Uh, we can see in the options tab that this is the address that it's going to use to, to for the proxy. So if we go over to Firefox and we go to preferences, advanced, network and settings, we can go to manual proxy configuration and type in the IP address there along with the port number. And as you can see, they match up there. So if we press OK, now whenever if we refresh this and we go over here as you can see here this is what we have requested from the server so we can turn intercept off now and if we go over to http history we can see here that this is what we basically refresh so it's it's the proxy that Burp has provided has taken all of the information and put it into Burp so we can so we can look at it. So what we want to do here is that we can go we can right click and go to send to intruder. So as you can see already that it's given us the IP of the website already, what port to use. And in here it'll give us the option to where we want to brute force. And as you can see here, the cookie is selected and it, it thinks that those are the options that we want to brute force. So as you can see, there is no username or password option here. So the reason why that is, is because we didn't actually enter anything into the login form. So if we was to press login, you can see here it's given us a username and password incorrect. So now if we look down in the request form, you can see in these parameters that they are different to in here where there is nothing. So now if we were to send that to intruder, you can see that there is now these options here. And let's just do it one more time so you, you can see a bit clearer on, on how it works. So now, in essence, and it's not, it's kind of doing like a, a man in the middle. That's what the proxy is doing. It, it's, it's taking all of the information that's put in and it's giving it straight to Burp. So if we were to send this one to Intruder and looked at the positions, you can see that the DD that I entered in the username and password is there rather than nothing. So if we go over to this one, we can deselect the the options that we don't want. So if we click that and we press clear, you can see it gets rid of the these. I don't even know what they're called, but these little funny S's with O's in the middle. If anyone does know what they're called, let me know. And we can do the same here. And we don't want to do this. So in here, what I'm going to do just for ease of use is I'm going to clear it. However, I'm going to type admin in here. And when we're blind, like we are now, and we don't know what any of the username or password is, it's always good to start off with admin because it's the most common username that people don't change or that they just use because it's easy to use. And this bit, we're going to leave it how it is. 
So if we go over to the payload options, here this is where we can add a word list. So let's just use the password.lst. We can open that. And it's got all of the different comments. It will run through those in the brute force, but obviously it shouldn't work because they're not going to be the password. And what we could do at the bottom here is we can add words to the, the to the list. So if you've done your own sort of uh, re recon and you you think you might know what the password is, but you're not sure and you just want to add it in 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 there anyway, you can do. So let's just do hello and add. And as you can see, it's there at the bottom. Um, the as this is a free version of burp um it the performance is kind of um hindered and it's not as fast as the pro version uh which kind of sucks but got to do what you got to do i guess that's business um so yeah it shouldn't take too long so if we go over to the target here what we can do is press start attack yeah, and we're going to get the, the error of saying that this is a demo version, blah, 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 blah. And this is just going to go through all of those lines and try them one by one in those parameters that we selected earlier. So what we're looking for here is any status that has essentially a 200. But as you can see, what's happened here is, is that all of them are 200. And so this is the way that DVWA is being programmed. If it was a different website where where you get sent to a different page or there's a, a different error message or something and there's a 403, which is permission denied, then that would show up here. But because DVWA is programmed in a certain way, we won't see. So one way that we can see if it works is by the response length. And as you can see here, these two are slightly different, which means that this one could potentially be the right answer or the right password. So if we look down, they're all the same. So they're all 200 and obviously these ones are, have been completely disregarded. So what we can do here is we can go into the response tab. And what we could do here is go through all of these different tabs and, and see what it's responded with. However, as I've as I said previously, we, we're not going to be able to tell the difference just from the status code. We're going to have to look at the render and, and see what what happens when it actually fully rendered. And as you can see here, welcome to the password protected area admin. So that would assume that we now know the password. So if we go over here, we can do the same and we get the same response. So we can see it's still carrying on, but we're just going to close this. And another thing we could do is we can send this to repeater. And in here, what we can do is, is do admin there and password there. And what we can do is manually do this. So if we press go, what we do is, is essentially enter in those variables into the website. This can be pretty good if you want to solely do things just on burp and want to test a few other things then you can do if you wanted to enter in a different cookie then you can do so if you wanted to change the security then you can do that as well so this was kind of a short video if you did like it give us a thumbs up if you didn't like it then let us know why don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video